Hungarian Grand Prix Chapter 3 What the fuck is that? Uh, hey there, can you uh, raise that lamp about six inches, right? Raised yourself. Excellent. A butler should always look sharp. <laughs> <laughs> so. At what point in the 22 season was it clear to you that the team was struggling? Oh, well, right after the Hungarian GP. I may only be the money, but even to me it was obvious. The whole thing was a sham. Yet again, Connor Sports Jackson and Butler battling it out on track. Oh, that was the owner. Oh, two seconds, that. Okay, Devon, Aiden's lapping faster than you. I need you to let him pass, please. Devon, do you copy? Listen to me, I need you to let Aiden pass now. Multi 21 sub. Multi 21. Seems like he didn't even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. No way at all. This Connor Sport rivalry is getting heated on the track here in Hungary. Alright, we'll just shunt into him then. Oh, we'll take Butler before lap 14. What lap are we in? Oh, come on, this is a joke! Let me drive, mate. On oh, lap 11. Let's get one last, another three corners. I don't get. Alright, race winning is probably a bit tough for this one, not gonna lie. Considering that Ferrari is heading into the final sector. And we have not even had it into sector 2 yet. Points is maybe more realistic. Oh, Sebastian! Sorry, mate, but we're gonna have to overtake you. Oh, Ricardo there as well. Alonso and the Alpine. All seemed so long ago. I'm gonna cry. Off the way, uh, uh, Daniel. Thank you very much.
P11 is cooking. Finishing top 10 is bonus. Oh no. Objective is top 10. Top 8 and fastest lap is bonus. Okay. Claire Boxing, Ferrari Masterclass, four laps to go. Why is Leclerc getting so violated in this series? As I thought last race, give the man a break. It's a game. Oh, wait, was it clear the one? Ah, okay, the Ferrari was leading that far ahead because they had not made a pit stop yet, so we actually can still win, maybe. No, oh, seven seconds it is a bit much. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't know. Time to cook. Podium is still on air. What is Devon? Out of the points. Get this kid out of here. There's no match. Oh, podium is gonna be difficult. New tire juice has gone off. Oh, yeah, so much more engine power. Exactly, get out of my lobby. Hey, get out C P5, P5. 
Easy. 10 points, 11 points back again. So Nats, who else out there deserves a mention today? Well, I feel like there are a couple, but let's start with Aiden Jackson. Couldn't agree. Let him cook. Jackson had a brilliant race, didn't he? Yeah, we know Connor Sport have struggled all season. Jackson's done really well today, and that's in spite of the problems with his own teammate. Even before they became teammates, these two had their fair share of run-ins. It's a fascinating rivalry. You can't take your eyes off it for one moment. But nonetheless, some much-needed points today for Connor Sport. Oh, interview. Well, a good race out there again today, Aidan. But what we do all want to know, what exactly happened with Devon? It sounded like he completely ignored a direct team order. Yeah, it was out of order, mate. <laughs> yeah, what do you expect? It's Devon. <laughs> it was out of order out there. Uh, he really needs to rein it in. Let Aiden cook. He's not the only one driving. I'm sure the team will have a lot to say about it. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, what would you say to those wondering if the old Jackson Butler rivalry is well and truly back? Problem is, Devon will never the change. Problem is that Devon will never change. <laughs> Devon only She's gonna roast some load. And, uh, I'm not gonna bend to that. So call it what you want. So issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team will be pleased with your performance? Of course. Uh, yeah, I think so. I did everything I could today, and you know the car performed really well. Uh, I think I found some good pace and. Uh, yeah, forgetting any other hiccups, I think the team will be happy. So, you mentioned the car there. In that regard, Connor Sports not had the easiest of times so far this season. Has that all been sorted? Are those reliability concerns well and truly behind you? I hope so. I mean, today was good. Yeah, there was no issues with the car. It's, uh, it's always difficult when a driver brings everything they've got and the car lets them down at the last minute. But. You know, I've been told the team has, has got it all under control. So, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next few races. That's great. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Despite Devon's lack of cooperation during the race, Aiden still managed to get past his corner sport teammate. Insecure points for the team. Okay, I'll leave that in your capable hands. Devon, you had a problem with the team order today? didn't happen. What? Look, I know everyone's saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. Shoddy workman always blames his tools, eh? Check the comms. OK, we checked the communication pipeline. Fix it. This cannot happen again. Typical. Aiden, listen. What's the point? It's just... Devon being Devon. And what? That makes it OK? He's an arrogant... No, you're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedoms. He'd be even harder to manage. As his father, I know. Aiden, you're the best driver that we have. And it's right for you to put Devon in his place. He needs it. The team needs it. Thanks. Between you and me, I don't think this team is right for me. I think... Honestly, we don't deserve you. And I know that you've been discussed at other teams, so just keep doing what you're doing. Sure. I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn. About Devon? <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way to keep Devon in his place? What's that? Beat him. That is roasting his own son. <laughs> right, so his dad is the, the team principal, apparently. When challenged by the press about disregarding the team order during today's race, Devon went public with a comms issue. We're now being pressured for a statement. Deny. Fuck him. Oh, someone's calling us. Daddy Devon. Davidoff. So, uh, I had a word with Aiden. And? Nothing to worry about. I don't think there'll be any more problems. What did you say? Doesn't matter. We level with each other. Just leave Aiden to me from now on. And uh, what about Devon? What about Devon? We both know it wasn't the comms, right? Andrea, listen. Devon may push his luck from time to time, but I won't have his integrity questioned. 
If he says it was the comms, then you know what to do. Yes? Right. <clears throat> sure. I'll have them checked again. See that you do. I have no idea what blow, 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 the guy just said, to be honest. I was not listening. I was reading the socials. That was breaking point two. Thus far, lads. Soon to be continued. True.